Hello, I'm going to record a brief video in which I'm going to explain the three types of graphs and the graphics, uh, statistical graphics, that you have to know to learn in this unit. The first one is the histogram. Histogram is a graph used for quantitative continuous variables. For instance, age. In this case, age is a continuous variable because between two different values we can always find an, uh, one more value. So, for instance, in this case we have people hospitalized today uh, in Talavera by COVID-19. So, this is the graph and here we have the age, the variable in the horizontal axis and the frequency on the vertical axis. So, uh, here we have bars, but the bars are together, are next to each other, because this is a continuous variable. It doesn't stop. Uh, so here in this bar, we have all the people from 20 years old to 30 years old. From 20 to 30, they are here, okay? In this bar. So that means that between 20 and 30 years old, today were uh, two people hospitalized. Between 30 and 40, there were four people. Between 40 and 50 years old, there were four people too. 50 and 60, between 50 and 60, there were five people. Between 60 and 70, there were three. Between 70 and 80, there were one. There was one. Between 80 and 90, there was, uh, there was no one hospitalized between those ages. And between 90 and 100, there was one person. One person between 90 and 100 years old. So this is what we call a histogram and it's used for quantitative continuous variables. The next one is the bar chart. A bar chart like this, this is a bar chart and is used for quantitative discrete variable, not continuous. So it's similar to the histogram, but we cannot mix up the histogram and the bar chart. The main difference is that the, in the histogram the bars are next to each other. They are next to each other because this is a continuous variable. It doesn't stop from 20 to 100, but here this is a discrete variable. Between 0 and 1 we have nothing because it's the number of cars. Number of cars in different families. So in a family we can have no cars, that's 0, or one car, but nothing in between. It's not possible having half a car. Or between 1 and 2 we have either one car or two cars, but nothing in between. It's not possible having one and a half cars. So that's the difference, and we represent that mm, by the fact that we draw the we draw the bars separated. Okay, we have already uh, seen a video, or, you, or if you haven't, you you are gonna see it soon. A video in which we make a bar chart. So in this bar chart, we can see that we have uh, found. Uh, with zero cars, with no cars, one family. There was one family with no cars, with, uh, with no car. And there was with one car, we had eight families, eight families with one car. And with two cars, we had six families. In our survey, in our sample, there, was, uh, there were two families with six cars. With three cars, there were two families who had three cars. Four cars, we found no families. With four, there wasn't, there wasn't any family with four cars. But there was one family here with five cars. One family with five cars. So that's the bar chart. Similar to the histogram, but the bars are separated because it is a um, discrete variable. For qualitative variables, we have another type of graph, which is the, the pie chart. 
there are many other graphs but we are gonna stick to the uh, these three so the pie the pie chart is very common for qualitative variable qualitative variable is a variable that is not measurable uh, with numbers it's not a numerical uh, variable like for instance the, poli the political parties people are more likely to vote or <coughs> as in this case the political parties in the parliament in in Canada in 2005 so you can see at a glance we can see that the the main party in this time was the liberal party okay uh, the conservative was the second party 98 uh, seats and the liberal party you can see that it doesn't have a, a an absolute majority here because it doesn't reach half of the circle so this is very appropriate this graph to give a, uh, to give us uh, at a glance the how the seats are shared in in, a, in this parliament or uh, in any other cases how the variable is distributed among the, the population so here you can see very well that distribution we have seen how to make a, a pie chart in uh, one of our videos if you haven't seen it yet uh, have a look at it and if you are in the first year of ESO in Primero de ESO uh, this is all you have to know. Para los de primero, estos gráficos son los que tenéis que saber. But in the third year of ESO, en tercero, tenéis que saber uno más. In the third year of ESO, you have to know the box and whiskers plot. Box and whiskers is used for all types of quantitative variables. Quantitative variables, not qualitative. So for quantitative variables, box and whiskers and they can be either um, discrete or or continuous but you can use a box and whisker the box and whiskers plot uh, is represented like this in which you put here the minimum of the the minimum of the data the the maximum here so here is the maximum, here is the minimum, here is the median. The median is the data that has as many data under it as it has over it. So 50% of the data are below the median, 50% of the data are above the media, the median median not mean the median and we have as well here the first quartile and the third quartile we call the lower quartile and the upper quartile quartiles are uh, data for instance the first quartile has 25 percent of the data below and 75 percent of the data above and the third quartile is the opposite it has 25% of the data above and 75% of the data below. Okay, so the median is in the middle of the data, but not in the middle of the of the numbers that we may have here. The middle of the data. The median can be called the second quartile. Q2 could be called. The distance from Q1 to Q3 is the interquartile range. And then in each one of these sections we have 25% of the population. So here, between the minimum and the first quartile, we have 25% of the population of the data, the population of the sample. Uh, between Q1, the lower quartile, and the median, we have 25% of the population here in this box. In this other box, we have as well 25% of the population. And between, in the last whisker, between the upper quartile and the maximum we have as well 25 percent of the population so that allows us to find percentages of the population between given data uh, quickly and very easy and easily you will see how we make uh, in this unit you're going to learn how we make one of these uh, with a box and whisker plot and 
and you will learn how to interpret, how to read this and extract information from them. Okay, that's all.